I'm Jessica Kilcullen, the Executive Director of Make It Work, and this is... Lindsay Hauser, and I'm the Executive Director of Advocations, and I like to say I take the dis out of disability. And I like to help her do that. Today we've created a podcast, this is our first one, so thanks for checking us out, and what we're going to do is help uh, people who have disabilities uh, learn more about how they can gain access to employment, and employers on how they can recruit, hire, and retain workers with disabilities. Uh, we'll do that by talking about spotlighting a disability of Our the day. Our disability minute. And then we will talk about topics. Sizzling topics. Sizzle. Um, and then Lindsay's favorite thing is technology and her iPhone. So she's going to talk about some apps that um, can work well with people with disabilities without the cost of assistive technology. A lot of times people think, oh, assistive technology is going to cost me a lot of money. But actually, you got it right here. Awesome. So let's get into it. We're going to start with our Disability Minute, and we're going to highlight epilepsy today. So I'm just going to read a little bit. Epilepsy, a chronic disorder of the nervous system. It is not a disease, but rather a symptom of an underlying neurological condition in which neurons in the brain create abnormal electrical discharges that cause seizures. Hey, Linz, come back and talk to this about um, how it can affect people on their job. So okay. epilepsy is a tricky one because it's an invisible disability until an episode takes place. And so a lot of uh, employees are actually scared to alert their employer that they actually have that condition. And so sometimes it's some, it might be too little too late and they may have an, an episode at the workplace. Oh, that could be scary. Yeah, so, so if you're somebody that has epilepsy or is um, you know related, a family member or job coach, um, somebody that's supporting someone in their vocational um, goals, it's important to understand how seizures can impact your job function. So assess the number and the types of seizures that they're having, the degree in which they're controlled by medication, and then also make sure that the person's taking medication regularly. So that way they don't have a lapse in medication and their seizure um, uh, are not their seizures are not being controlled. Okay. So what are some things um, that can take place on the job to make work um, successful for someone who is diagnosed with epilepsy? Trying to control your environment as much as possible is important. So uh, if you look at a job and there's rotating shifts, and sleep can be one of the, the challenges. Uh, if you have um, fatigue or stress or flickering lights also can um, bring mm -hmm. on um, a seizure. So, mm -hmm. so making sure that uh, you can control things that you can control and for the other things, uh, having a plan in place if something does happen. Uh, make sure that the person's not working in an isolated environment. Uh, they can work by themselves, but make sure that, that um, there's regular people that can pop in or, or just, you know, natural um, throughout the day, uh, check on the person to make sure that they're okay. Good, yeah. Yeah, that's important. And if they know um, that a seizure is coming on, uh, some people can actually um, feel a change. Uh, make sure that they get in a, a place where, you know, either brace themselves or sit down so that way um, they can avoid having a head injury by um, falling out when they have a seizure. So I think it's very important that the employer knows um, that maybe you're diagnosed with this so they can um, put the necessary steps in place as well and be aware. I think it would probably be worse if they weren't aware, right? Right, and, and they also can review their current safety procedures because I think um, there was a lot of concern that some jobs were completely off, off limits for somebody that has epilepsy. And now there's been a lot of research to show that if they're using the proper safety equipment, um, they're actually no more at risk than the average worker. Awesome. Yeah. That's very helpful. Cool. So let's skip down to uh, our topics that sizzle. Sizzle. Hey. So today I was reading the Business Journal, very handy newspaper here in Charlotte. Um, and some big news is that the Kroger grocery store has bought our local grocery store, Harris Teeter, which at first I know, Lindsay, you were kind of bummed about. I was. I was. Harris Teeter has been very, very good about hiring individuals with disabilities and working with job coaches to make sure that they can be successful. And they really get it. And so I was concerned because now Kroger, a large, large grocery store, may not have that direct connection. And also, Harris Teeter is located and, and their home office is actually right in our backyard. So they were a good corporate local business sponsor. But there's good news. Um, Kroger is keeping the Harris Teeter name and keeping its um, headquarters here in the Charlotte area. So we're hoping that this will just expand um, 
the disability initiative within Harris Teeter and now Kroger. Yeah, Kroger was good. When I was up in Charlottesville, Virginia, they were a very good advocate and support. So, yeah, let's just see how um, this growth, it will actually position the, the Kroger and Harris Teeter brand to be um, the, the largest supermarket in, in the U.S. And so maybe they can... Uh, uh, take some lessons from each other and really make this a, a program that's sustainable and works. It's going to be great too because um, they are in different markets so their stores are not overlapping so that means there will be um, no, no job loss. No job loss, exactly. So that's good for everyone who's employed in the economy. So all around this is a pretty exciting thing for the Charlotte area and expanding um, past that. Yeah. All right, now it's time for our next segment, App of the Week. And Lindsay's our techie here, so she's going to share with us her favorite App of the Week. Yeah, tying into the Harris Teeter Kroger thing, we want to say, hey Kroger people, uh, keep the Harris Teeter app or learn from it. Definitely. I haven't downloaded your app because Kroger's no there. No, not around here? No. Mm -mm. But we use the Harris Teeter one, and ways that you can use it, uh, they have a shopping list, so you can keep in mind all of your groceries. When you actually get into the store, it'll it'll organize it by the area uh, within oh, the store. Oh, nice. So that way you can easily pick up what you need. Um, you can order your prescription refills, um, so that way you can make sure you always have your medication. Uh, and my favorite one uh, is the meet your neighbor section. Hey, it, neighbor. Hey, here I am. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to be met. And uh, what that does is it shares with you uh, products that are made around this area um, oh, that they're awesome. actually selling locally here at our Harris Teeter. So local products being sold in our local grocery store. Right, which That's means awesome. jobs. Um, so that's what I actually look at it for is I, I see an employer and I'm like, oh, I didn't know Italian ICs, Lindy Italian ICs were made oh. here. Yeah. So not only did I buy two because they were on a VIX special. Oh, love our eVIX specials. But hey, if you're out there and you have some jobs for our people, give us a call. Advocations, look us up. Okay. So we're going to wrap that yeah. up. Thanks so much for joining us for our first podcast. Uh, we'll, awesome. we'll polish this off a little bit and get better as we go. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I hope so too. Uh, but uh, we'll also um, ha add segments in the future about uh, tips for uh, if you're a job seeker looking for a job and then also for employers if you're seeking uh, good workers with disabilities. Yeah. Diversity initiative. Inclusion. Make it happen. Make it work. Bye. And this is our first podcast. That's what we should talk about. Clearly. Yeah. So what we would like to do in this, po in, in this uh, podcast is to share information regarding, um, or maybe I say, maybe I say, I like to take the dis out of disability. No, yeah. Stupid. Yeah. No, you always say that. And it's, you, it's your thing. Yeah, it I mean, that's thing. good. Yeah. And, uh, and, oh, yeah. And I'll be like, and I like to help her do that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and this. <laughs> and, what are we talking about? Wait, are we talking about Harris Teeter or Donna? Yeah, we're talking about Harris Teeter. Sorry, I forgot. I was like, who's my new friend? I thought we were talking We'll talk about Donna next week and we'll feature ADHD. Okay, okay perfect. Right, Sorry. Let's... No, that's fine. Okay, <laughs> whatever. Who cares? Pause. Seizures. I think we've all experienced a seizure before, but Lindsay, why don't you talk about... <laughs> Not personally, but known someone who may be in epilepsy. I'm just going to read an expert. Excerpt. Yeah. Why don't you read myself? Because that way people can't see my face. Oh, okay. Does that look okay? Because my face is ridiculous when you do this. <laughs> it was nice to meet you, um, and I just picked my nose. <laughs> okay. Dang it. Okay. So. Um, okay. Okay.